German East Africa was a German colony in the African Great Lakes region, which included what are now Burundi, Rwanda, and the mainland part of present Tanzania. Its area was 994,996 a km2, nearly three times the area of present-day Germany. The colony was organized when the German military was called upon to put down a revolt against the activities of a colonial company during the late 1880s. It ended with Imperial Germany's defeat in World War I. Afterwards, the territory was divided between Britain and Belgium and reorganized as a mandate of the League of Nations. History, like other powers, the Germans expanded their empire in the Africa Great Lakes region on the basis of fighting slavery and the slave trade. And like other imperial powers, however, they never actually formally abolished it, preferring instead to curtail the production of new recruits and regulate the extant slaving business. The colony began with Karl Peters, an adventurer who founded the Society for German Colonization and signed treaties with several native chieftains on the mainland opposite Zanzibar. On March 3, 1885, the German government announced it had granted an imperial charter to Peter's company and intended to establish a protectorate in the Africa Great Lakes region. Peters then recruited specialists, who began exploring south to the Rufugia River and north to Wichu, near Lamu on the coast. When the Sultan of Zanzibar protested, since he claimed to be ruler on the mainland as well, Chancellor Otto von Bismarck sent five warships which arrived on August 7, 1885 and trained their guns on the Sultan's palace. The British and Germans agreed to divide the mainland between themselves, and the Sultan had no option but to agree. German rule was quickly established over Bagamwayo, Dar es Salaam, and Kilwa, even sending the caravans of Tom von Prince, Wilhelm Langheld, Amin Pasha, and Charles Stokes to dominate the street of caravans. The Abushiri Revolt of 1888 was put down the following year. In 1890, London and Berlin concluded the Heligoland-Zanzibar Treaty, returning Heligoland to Germany and deciding on the borders of German East Africa. Between 1891 and 1894, the Hii tribe, led by Chief MKWAWA, resisted German expansion. They were defeated because rival tribes supported the Germans. After years of guerrilla warfare, MKWAWA himself was cornered and committed suicide in 1898. The Maji Maji Rebellion occurred in 1905 and was put down by the governor, Count Gustav Adolf von Gar Paragraph Zen. But scandal soon followed, with stories of corruption and brutality, and in 1907 Chancellor Bar one quarter low appointed Bernhard Dierenberg to reform the colonial administration. It became a model of colonial efficiency and commanded extraordinary loyalty among the natives during the First World War. German colonial administrators relied heavily on native chiefs to keep order and collect taxes. By January 1, 1914, aside from local police, military garrisons of Schutztruppen at Dar es Salaam, Moshi, Iringa, and Mahanj numbered 110 German officers, 126 non commissioned officers and 2,472 native enlisted men. Paul von Letter Vorbeck, was a successful general in German East Africa during World War I. Economic development, commerce and growth started in earnest under German direction. Early on it was realized that economic development would depend on reliable transportation. Over 100,000 acres were under sisal cultivation a euro the biggest cash crop. Two million coffee trees were planted and rubber trees grew on 200,000 acres, along with large cotton plantations. To bring these agricultural products to market, beginning in 1888, the Uzambra Railway, or Northern Railroad, was built from Tanga to Moshi, Tanzania. The longest line, the Central Railroad covered 775 miles from Dar es Salaam to Mrogoro, Tabora and Kigama. The final link to the eastern shore of Lake Tanganyika had been completed in July 1914 and was cause for a huge and festive celebration in the capital with an agricultural fair and trade exhibition. Harbour facilities were built or improved with electrical cranes, with rail access and warehouses. Wharves were remodelled at Tanga, Bagamwaro and Lindi. In 1912 Dar es Salaam and Tanga received 356 freighters and passenger steamers and over 1,000 coastal ships and local trading vessels. 
By 1914, Dar es Salaam and the surrounding province had a population of 166,000, among them 10,491,050 Europeans, 1,000 of them Germans. In all of the German East Africa were 3,579 Germans. In its own right, Dar es Salaam became the showcase city of all of tropical Africa. Gold mining in Tanzania in modern times dates back to the German colonial period, beginning with gold discoveries near Lake Victoria in 1894. The first gold mine in the colony was the Sikenk Gold Mine, which began operation in 1909 after gold was found there in 1907. Despite all these efforts, German East Africa never achieved a profit for the German Empire and needed to be subsidized by the Berlin Treasury. Education Germany developed an educational program for Africans that involved elementary, secondary and vocational schools. Instructor qualifications, curricula, textbooks, teaching materials, all met standards unmatched anywhere in tropical Africa. In 1924, Ten years after the beginning of the First World War and six years into British rule, the visiting American Phelps Stokes Commission reported, in regards to schools, the Germans have accomplished marvels. Some time must elapse before education attains the standard it had reached under the Germans. One of the influences of this German development of education in their colony is the word Schule that means school. Since Germans were the first colonialists to establish a solid educational program in the African Great Lakes region, the word shul has been borrowed into the Bantu Swahili language, the lingua franca of the African Great Lakes. First World War The story of German East Africa in the First World War is essentially the history of the colony's military commander, General Paul Emil von Letter Vorbeck. A vibrant officer, he spent the war harrying the forces of the British Empire tying down with his band of 3,500 Europeans and 12,000 native Askaris and porters, a British Imperial Army 40,000 strong, which was at times commanded by the former Second Boer War commander Jan Smuts. One of his greatest victories was at the Battle of Tanga, where von Letter Vorbeck beat a British force more than eight times the size of his own. Letter Vorbeck's guerrilla campaign compelled Britain to commit significant resources to a minor colonial theatre throughout the war and inflicted upwards of 10,000 casualties. Eventually weight of numbers, especially after forces coming from the Belgian Congo had attacked from the west and dwindling supplies forced Letter Vorbeck to abandon the colony. He withdrew into Mozambique, then into northern Rhodesia where he agreed to a ceasefire three days after the end of the war. On receiving news of the armistice between the warring nations, Letter Vorbeck was acclaimed after the war as one of Germany's heroes, and his Schutztruppe was celebrated as the only colonial German force in the First World War not to have been defeated in open combat. The Askari colonial troops that had fought in the East African campaign were later given pension payments by the Imar Republic and the Federal Republic of Germany. The German light cruiser SMS car Paragraph Nixberg also fought off the coast of the African Great Lakes region. She was eventually scuttled in the Rufiji Delta in July 1915 after running low on coal and spare parts, and was subsequently blockaded and bombarded by the British. The surviving crew stripped out the remaining ship's guns and mounted them on gun carriages, before joining the land forces, adding considerably to their effectiveness. Another and smaller campaign was conducted on the shores of southern Lake Tanganyika over 1914 Euro 15. This involved a makeshift British and Belgian flotilla, and the Reichsheer garrison at Bismarckburg. The Treaty of Versailles broke up the colony, giving the northwestern area to Belgium as Rwanda Urundi, the small Kionga Triangle south of the Rivuma River to Portugal to become part of Mozambique, and the remainder to Britain, which named it Tanganyika. German placer names, most place names in German East Africa continued to bear German spellings of the local names, such as Ajiji for Yushji and Kalima Ndscharo or Kilimandaro for Mount Kilimanjaro. The few exceptions to the rule included, Wilhelmstal or Wilhelmsdorf on the Pangani River in the northeast of the country, New Horno in the Pear Mountains in the northeast of the country, Bismarckburg on the southeastern end of Lake Tanganyika, Wismanhafen, its port, Gotthorp or New Gotthorp near the northeastern end, Langenberg and New Langenberg north of Lake Nyasa, and Langenberg, New Langenberg, 
Weirdafen and Springshafen on the eastern shore, St. Moritz, Kirandathel and Sachsenwald, two gold mines, New Trier, New Bonn, New Bethel, Mariahilf, Marienthal, Emmerberg, Kornweiserau, Lidorf, Friedberg, Fischerstadt, Petersept, Bargfrieden, Ohenfriedberg, Hoffnungshaw Paragraph H, as well as German. Translations of some local phrases, such as clean Russia for a Russiachny and new Mui for the settlement that is now known as Moshi. Lake Ilyasi was known as the Hohenlohasi, and the mission town of Sankt Michael near Kahama was formerly more important. Maps Gallery See also German East African Rupee, German East Africa Company, German Cameroon, German Namibians, German Southwest Africa, List of Colonial Heads of Tanganyika, List of Former German Colonies, German Colonial Society, Tgoland, Footnotes References External links